Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this absolutely gorgeous unit. Can you guys see the hairline? Like my hairline could never, okay? So if you wanna see how I style this unit and if you wanna know more about this unit, then please keep on watching and also don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. So this unit is from Curls Curls Official and this is the unit straight out of the box. Um, it is a lace front unit and it's called the Melissa wig. The texture is also a kinky curly as you can see. I would say it's a bit of a 4B, 4C. Um, so I decided to co-wash the unit. Normally I use shampoo and then a conditioner but the hair didn't come with any smell and that's very common with cur Curls Curls wigs. Like their wigs literally have no smell. It's always like a fresh scent. Um, so I just wanted to like um co-wash it with with some conditioner just to loosen up the curls a bit so this unit actually reminded me of low porosity hair so it took a while for the hair to absorb the water um that's and that's how my hair type is so whilst i was watching it i just literally laughed um but i don't know maybe it's to do with the density of this hair because it's pretty full um, but yeah, I just went in with my conditioner. I use a random conditioner. You can use conditioner for natural hair if you want, but this cheap one does the job. So I didn't really like bother myself. And can I just say that this hair was super soft, okay? Like you would see later on in the video when I used my fingers to comb through the hair before I used a comb. And I was so surprised that my fingers were able to like easily glide through the hair with no tangles. Like it's kinky hair guys. And this hair is very kinky and it's very dense as you can see so you know i expected a little bit of a struggle here and there like sliding my finger fingers through but nothing it was so easy and so soft and then when i went in with my tangle teaser it was the same thing as well so for me that's a plus because what this means is when the hair is all dried and if i've worn it out all day to like um if i want to hydrate the curls or detangle it wouldn't be a hassle which for me you know is a good thing because i know how detangling kinky curly wigs can be like it could take your whole day so you don't have to worry about that with this unit of course i do need to wear it more before i can conclude on that but straight out of the box i feel like you know it's not going to give me a hassle detangling so yeah this is how the curls look they look absolutely gorgeous i did receive um some shedding but nothing to make the hair go bald like it's natural textured wig my hair sheds even way more than this so yeah don't be alarmed by the shedding like it's not that deep you still have a lot of hair to um play with so yeah i after like rinsing out the um shampoo sorry the conditioner i went ahead to air dry this unit overnight now normally i would add a curling product to the hair whilst it's air drying but i just i wanted to like um i didn't want to weigh the hair down basically so i just let it air dry um, on its own and yeah I would see you guys in the clip when I'm installing it Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Thank you all so, so much for stopping by here again today. If this is your first time, then please, please, please subscribe, subscribe and join the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, then I really do appreciate you guys. So today's video is a collaboration with Curls Curls. I absolutely love this company. I've worked with them countless times in the past and they're basically a natural textured wig company so if you're looking for clip-ins ponytails um lace front wigs closure wigs that are in the natural hair um, texture then this is definitely the company to check out i would leave their website in the description box um so when they contacted me to review this unit i was actually really excited because it's one of their old units um most of the reviews are from like three four years ago so yeah i'm just really excited because i haven't had my hair out in a while it's always in like cornrows as you can see and i really do want to have my hair up but it's just a lot of work guys 4c hair is a lot of work so you know having a natural textured wig that can mimic your hair without you doing the most is like absolutely amazing so i feel like i'm talking too much because i'm excited but um yeah the unit came in this box right here as you can see it says curls curls on it and when you open it up 
you have a wig cap and of course the wig was in this plastic bag but I did wash the unit so it's no longer in this bag I'll show you the, um, the unit right now so this is the Melissa unit like I said it's one of their old um, wigs it does have some curl definition to it however I feel like it it's giving me like 4b vibes although if you brush it out it can definitely um, be wearable for a 4c chick i feel like once it gets a bit frizzy you can get away with um this unit as a 4c girl so this is in 16 inches or 18 i'm not so sure i'm terrible at this i'll put the right length on the screen or in the description box and the knots come slightly bleached i can tell it's not like overly processed however you can get away with just adding a bit of powder or even just wearing it like this because the knots are not so visible um, I'm gonna do a close-up and show you guys later on one thing I like about this unit is the curls are from the roots to the tip you know sometimes when you wear curly units um, the, the roots are like straight and then the curls begin at the bottom with this unit it's like cur curls all the way from the roots to the tips so that's something I've actually noticed with curls curls their curly units are always like that so I went ahead to co-wash this unit just with um, some conditioner. I let it air dry overnight and this is how she's looking right now. I think the curls came out pretty nicely um, but to be fair there isn't much of a difference like from washing the unit and how it came which is an advantage in case you don't want to wash your units you can actually just wear it straight out of the box. So yeah without further ado let's get into the styling of this unit. So I went ahead to apply some foundation to my stocking cap just so that it gives that you know um, bleach effect but looking back now after installing this unit I feel like if I do install it next time and I want to like glue it down I would just go without the stocking cap or I would just like do the bold cap method just so that the band doesn't show because you see later on when I started parting the unit that you know the band was kind of like super light um even though I try to cover it with some foundation but you know it's still a bit of a hassle um just to put that out there so you don't actually need your stocking cap the lace on this is like oh my gosh amazing so yeah even with the whole foundation stuff it made it like 10 times nicer or 10 times more realistic um this this unit can definitely definitely be worn as a glueless install but I just wanted to lay it down because you know I just I like having edges and naturally I don't have edges um so I always struggle cutting the air uh, flab or tabs whatever it's called off so I tried a different technique today and I think I really like it so what I did was I shifted one side to make it perfect to where it like sits right on my hairline and I cut off just a little bit of the lace and then I went over to the other side and that that's where I focused on doing the work and in my mind I'm like if I'm gonna cut this off at least let me focus on one part because I can always do it good on one side and then I mess up the other side so yeah I think I'm gonna start doing this technique I don't know if it even made sense but yeah you can see from the video um so to lay this unit down I use the got to be black gel not the fruit spray so I apply the gel off camera and as you can see I'm just basically just dragging each each section and pressing it down with my blow dryer my combs and my fingers so that's basically all I did for the install so I'm gonna give you some specs on this unit so like I said this unit is from curls curls officials and it is their Melissa unit this is the lace front um, version of this unit however they do have the teapot wig version which is of course more affordable so this um, this unit like I said comes the curls comes from the roots to the ends and also it's a very beginner friendly unit it's uh, you don't need any glue you don't need any extra customization is 100% human hair as you can see the hairline is very very natural looking if you do want to pluck it of course you can but I feel like straight out of the box is still like very nice now the lace is a 13 by 4.5 parting space and the lace is also a Swiss lace which is more secure and more natural the teapot option of this um, unit is a 13 by 6 um, lace parting space so you can choose to go for that option if you want to this particular unit comes in the length 16 inches and it's currently $289 but the teapot option which is in 18 inches is $209 so it all depends on your preference but the curl pattern of both units are kinky curly which is a 3c to 4a um I would argue that a 4c chick can wear this honestly I feel like it's more of a 4b but hey you know I'm not the manufacturer so 
um yeah and that's i think that's basically it the density isn't specified but i would say this is a good probably 180 if not no 180 is right i would have said 200 but 200 would be a bit too much so 180 would be the density if i was to like guess and the cap size i'm currently wearing is small i do have a discount code so please use my discount code sharon to get some dollars off um yes yeah, so after i had set the lace i went ahead to part do like a c part with my fingers and then now i'm just basically saturating the hair and trying to define the curls more and i'm using my um, spray bottle which is water in there and also the nairobi mousse guys i'm really really loving this nairobi mousse i feel like for kinky textured hair or wigs like this mousse is the absolute best i'm gonna try and use it on my 4c hair and see how it works but i've used this mousse on like kinky hair and it's been amazing results so please try this mousse out this is not sponsored i bought it with my own money i'm just trying to you know let you guys know the deal i really do love the curls on this unit i feel like it's just like your ideal natural textured wig i love the length of this unit as well i feel like it's just perfect it's not too long to the point where it's unbelievable and when the hair dries it's still like the same length it's not like shorter than this just to put that out there So I really like how this side of the lace laid. I just feel like the hairline here looks way more natural than the other side. So I wanted to show it off of course and you'll see later on in the video I went ahead to apply some bobby pins to the side so I have like a um, deep side part situation going on. Um, I didn't bother with doing baby hairs because I just feel like the hairline is so beautiful and I didn't want the baby hairs to like distract you from enjoying this view right here so if you do want to do baby hairs then you can but i feel like this is amazing on its own <laughs> So yeah guys, this is the final result. This is Melissa. This is she. She is absolutely gorgeous. Like I'm just so excited about this unit guys. Like if you have $300 to spare or if you don't have $300, if you have like $210 or $200, then you can get the teapot version of this. I think every natural hair girl should definitely have this unit. It's beginner friendly. The hairline is amazing. The lace is amazing. The density as well. And when it dries, it's not like overly frizzy. Like it's so flattering on you. So yeah, if you're looking for um, a natural textured wig, I would recommend trying this out. You're not going to regret it. I have worked with this company before. So all their wigs are really good like even after a while it's still amazing so this is also the unit styled as a middle part to be honest i don't even know which i like better like looking back this side part is actually giving like some diva vibes so yeah you can part it any way you want it is a lace front wig like i mentioned um yeah guys that's basically it i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe i hope to see you all in my next video God bless. Bye guys.